Hello, this is Oshani from Chinta. I hope you are doing well. Today, we will learn about a concept from number theory. It's a very simple idea. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a problem. If you can do that problem, you can put a comment in the description. You might be eligible for a Ramanujan gift card. Suppose we have 51 integers, A1, A2, A3, up to A51, 51 integers. And we will look at the squares of these integers. So basically A1 squared, A2 squared, A3 squared, up to A51 squared. We want to divide all of these numbers by 100. Each of these numbers by 100. And look at the remainders that we get in the process. Here is the claim that we want to prove. Show that, show that at least two of these remainders are same. Okay. So maybe you can try this problem, but before you do it, I want to share a strategy with you that is not only useful in this problem, it is useful for many other problems of similar type. So here is the strategy. Use negative remainders. Now let me explain what I mean by that. So if I take the numbers, let's say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and let's compute the remainders when we divide by 7. If I divide by 7, the remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and again 0. Right. Now, sometimes it is more useful to write the remainders as negatives. So, in fact, it's often useful to do it from the midline. It is useful to notice that 13 gives a remainder of negative 1 when you divide by 7. Because you can write 7 as, uh, you can write 13 as 7 times 2 plus negative 1. So you can think of this negative 1 as the remainder. When we wrote 6 as the remainder, 6 was the remainder because 6, 13 is 7 times 1 plus 6. Usually, we think of remainders and quotients as positive numbers. But sometimes, sometimes it is more useful to think of them as negative numbers as well. Why is it useful? Well, there is something very important about this number 1. It tells us that 8 and 13 are very much alike. 8 and 13 are very much alike. They are just one unit away from a multiple of 7. Similarly, 9 and 12 are very much alike because they are just two units away from a multiple of 7. So, the 9 is 7 times 1 plus 2 and 12 is 7 times 2 plus negative 2. So, the remainder is negative 2 and here the remainder is positive 2. But you capture that truth that both of these numbers are two units away from multiples of 7. And that can be very powerful when you are solving problems. Okay, so it's very important to write negative remainders. And we will use that in the context of this particular problem. With that idea in mind, 
let's go into the solution to the problem that we started off with. But before I do that, let me ask you the first question for the Ramanujan gift card. So question one is this. If you divide any number by 14, what are the remainders? What are the positive and negative remainders? And you can do the same strategy. You can take almost half of them as positive and the remaining half as negative. And give me examples of numbers of each kind okay so for example if you say one possible remainder is three then one example of a number which when divided by 14 gives remainder three is in fact 31 right similarly if you say the remainder could be negative five then give me an example of a number that gives remainder negative five when divided by 14. So one example could be 9, right? So this is the first question for the Ramanujan gift card for this particular video, all right? Now let's go into the solution. We, were, we are dividing by 100 now, not 50, not 7, not 14, 100. So what are the possible remainders? Well, we will write half of them or almost half of them as positives. The remaining we will write as negatives. So the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, up to 49, 50. And we have a negative 49, negative 48, and up to negative 1. Now, what if we square them? Because we are interested in square numbers, remember? We are interested in squaring a number and then dividing the square by 100. So if I square it, I'll get negative 49 squared, which is same as 49 squared. Negative 48 squared, that is 48 squared, and so on, up to negative 1 squared, which is just 1 squared. Then we have 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, 49 squared, and 50 squared. So to remind you, these are the possible remainders if you divide a number by 100, right? So the question is, how many different squares do we have? How many different squared remainders do we have? Well, notice that this one and this one are same. This one and this uh, for negative 48 squared and 48 squared will be same. Negative 1 squared and 1 squared will be same. So we have a lot of remainders be becoming the same. So what are the different ones, at least by, uh, at least visually, what are the different ones? Well, 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, up to 49 squared, 50 squared. How many of them do we get? How many visually different, how many visually different remainders do we get? When, divide, when we divide squares by 100, well, we get for 51, 51 such possible remainders. 51 such possible remainders, right? Okay, so now let's get back to the question. The question says that we have 51 square numbers. We want to divide them by 100. These are the remainders. We want to show that at least two of these remainders are same. Now, in our analysis, we got 51 possible remainders. How can we say that two of them, at least two of them, would be the same? Remember, we are dividing by 100. These are the possible remainders from the, and there are 51 numbers in this list. Something very simple is happening. For that reason, we can say at least two numbers in this list will be the same when divided by 100. That is, remainder-wise, they would be the same when divided by 100. 
that's the second question for the Ramanujan gift card. Question number two for the Ramanujan gift card. Why two of these numbers would give the same remainder when divided by 100, thereby solving the problem that we posed at the beginning of this video? Okay, so if you want to participate in the Namanujit gift card process, you can put an answer of both of these questions. One of them was asked at the middle of the video. One of them is asked at the end of the video. And put that in a comment. Please share, like and subscribe because uh, that motivates us to do more work. Do let us know in the comment if you have any suggestions or any topics in mind and we will make videos on that. All right.